Welcome back, everyone. School is coming to a close, which means vacations are right around the corner, right? Well, Paige and Ken have a whole new way to capture those amazing summer memories with beautiful, unforgettable wreaths. This is such a great idea, you guys. <laughs> well, it's like we, we always like to put things up on our front door, so yeah. why not make them more important to right. us? Taking our memories and making a wreath out of them. Beautiful. And for the family, too. Like, what, what did you value every summer? Right. Exactly. Yeah, for me. It yeah, was, go ahead, dive right into it. It was ice cream. It was, I mean, <laughs> that's it. You're pulling, you're pulling yes. your inspiration I would from love to memories. say it's more meaningful than that, but oh my goodness, no. I loved thrifty ice cream. We and, can all relate to that. Um, and even when I had my birthdays, my cake had to be an ice cream cake. And oh. then my little brother came along eight years later. Look at that show. And like he started sharing it with me and I now he's a professor and I still call him my little brother although he's now is he gonna be embarrassed that you showed that photo maybe or maybe I don't know he was so sweet <laughs> right. though so I shared my love with him we start okay. with some poultry fence which is different than chicken wire chicken wire is the actual wire okay poultry fence is made out of plastic okay so it's nice and easy to work very with. good and this is a cocoa liner that you can find right. in um, for plants right. so if you left it like this this is a big cone <sighs> that is a large waffle cone that's a young but, page cone yes that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I used to go for. So what I've done is cut it down the middle. I'm going to wrap it around here. Cut. Actually, yes. Could you just give me a sure. little? Just like along here? Yep. Okay. Just adding a little bit of hot more. glue. Yeah, keep going. All right. You, you're a DIYer yet. Okay. So while we turned that into a smaller cone, Got you can it. see, now we want to make the waffle part of it. Okay. So that's what we're going to use the poultry fence for. Got it. You want to lay it down and kind of turn it. Push this all the way around. Yep. Kind of turn it so that it you cut it at an angle. So at any time, any given time, you're like, oh yeah, that's a cone right oh, there. I see what you're okay, saying. so I'm gonna I cut right through saying. here. Very and it good. is you need to use um, strong scissors, but it still is pretty easy. It's not like it, you need. It's special. actually just because Paige is very strong herself. Very strong. <laughs> yeah. So we need to turn that. Okay. And I will cut this. So you just cut it down straight, and then as soon as I do this, you can ditch that. But one of the great things about this poultry fence is the fact that it gives it that waffle cone look to it. I, mean, I, know. I know. You sort of alluded to that, but what a good idea. It's so cute. So all you would do is wrap it around here. Yeah. And trim it down just a little bit. And you can kind of see what I did here. We, we just trimmed it down, and then how to Twist and cut a little bit, right? Twist and cut, but... Here's what you're going to want to do, because uh, the glue will not hold this in place. Got it. What you want to do is pick a point. Even before you finished cutting, use a zip tie. Ah, oh, okay. smart. Yep, so go in through there. Right, right, So it's kind right. of going to kind of look a little messy until you're done. Well, except that's the side that will go against the door, right? Exactly, yep. Okay. Yep, so that'll be yeah. our hidden side. Beautiful. You do that all the way down, trim it off. Trim it off. And that's, then you get to add flowers. And I noticed a certain arrangement there. Yes. Uh, I, could those possibly be in the flavors of ice cream that you prefer? I do. Well, now I like sorbet. Oh. Uh, it's elevated. Uh, so I go mango <laughs> sorbet, strawberry, and a little whipped cream and a cherry on top. I was actually inspired by an Etsy a user, Laura Bridger of Snappy Pea Shop. She made a little smaller one. I think her tastes are a little lighter than mine. But she's got lots of fun things to look at, and this was one of them, and I just loved it. Take that inspiration and you blow it up. Great job, Paige. I love that. Okay, Ken, we're going to your, your inspiration. I do like ice summary. cream. I do like ice cream, but I have to say I like the beach better. Oh, okay. So I grew up on the islands outside of yes. Georgia. Um, there's me in the 80s, like, all the time. <laughs> every Saturday, every Sunday at the beach. Little and I love the fact that my kids have now become beach kids. You know, Aww. we were just in Hawaii, hence the shirt, um, for uh, <laughs> spring break. Um, time spent with Grandma in Savannah. They just love walking out, jumping over the waves. Um, and it doesn't matter. Even in the winter, we dress up in sweaters and go to Half Moon Bay and really and to see them experiencing that same love of the ocean and all of that as I did, just you know, it's beautiful. It, it, it feels nice. And that's what the memories are going to be represented on your door. With so we come wreath. back with driftwood. We come yeah. back with seashells. We come back with all this. So I want to take all those mason jars of stuff the kids find and make a <laughs> and wreath. And put it right here. So exactly. you can use the driftwood you find on the beach, or you can actually get these great packages, too, if right. you don't. So you have two options. Right. So if you've got that driftwood at home, use it. If not, craft the stores now sell sort of faux driftwood, etc., and just get a flat wreath frame. And all you're going to do is just... Hot glue on there and just glue your um, glue your driftwood piece by piece. Once you get one layer, go back through, add some on top. And, and then start wow. mixing up the angles and make Ex it a little bit as if exactly. they're being tossed there, right? Okay, now, right. if you live in 
the Midwest and have no oceans, <laughs> or if you're just lazy and want a quick solution, you can also buy pre-made driftwood wreaths, which are, which are not that expensive. You can find them at most um, craft stores this time of year. So this is another great start. So regardless of how you get your base, what okay. you want to do is start adding on your seashells. Now, I suggest starting, we always have a couple of big showy shells that are our favorite. Sort of figure out where you want those to start and sort of just like play around with sort of your sort of arrangement. Okay. And then all you're gonna do, hot glue, and you have to be liberal with the hot glue because you're dealing with one natural surface attaching to another natural surface. So you really wanna sort yeah, of- Yeah, don't skimp on the hot glue. Don't skimp. Yeah. <laughs> and then you fill in the little gaps with some of the smaller shells, And then shells, fill right? in the little ones. And you work those around, what exactly. a great idea. And I have one that I worked on earlier. I like to go with the sort of two thirds of the way around, sort of just keep doing it until it feels Ooh, right. Look at that guy right there. You found some nice shells. I know, yeah. some nice shells. You left some room here at the top, I know what, for the great beach sign. Yes, yeah, so I made a beach sign I want to show you here and this is super easy to make all I did was cut out scrapbook paper into little pennants get little letters that are just stick right on like that and then all you're gonna do is I actually attached it to some um, twine that has a wire underneath the great thing about the wire if you want to hold this wreath for me I right sure there, will is that you can just get this wrap this straight around okay. as easy as pie you don't need to worry about gluing it or tying it. Perfect. And the driftwood makes it super duper easy to hang. Just a little something yes. like that. There you <laughs> go. The beach is that way, the ice cream's that way. Put them together. Put them together, yes. it's You're a perfect a summer. summer. You can't lose. Not just because they're beautiful, but also because they're so personal. Great job.